as you sit with me here and you close your eyes, I just ask that you let yourself breathe very deeply such that you become ever more deeply relaxed. I invite you to allow your breathing to deepen, to slow down, such that all of your burdens and all of your grief just eases away and you become deeper and deeper into your own soul. You may notice how relaxed you are. And that's good. Doesn't it feel nice to just let yourself go? To just let yourself relax? Doesn't it feel nice as you go deeper and deeper into yourself? Deeper and deeper into your own soul? And you feel a warmth, a softness. I invite you to notice how your brain wave activity is becoming slow and regular as you keep breathing deeply. Your thoughts are becoming more organized, not so restless, not so chaotic. Deeply focused, deeply relaxed. All of this available to you in the here and now. Letting yourself breathe however you want. That was a good one. Let yourself just cut those ropes, all those tethers to negative emotions, to obligation, to those who are trying to extract anger and fear from you, to make you upset, fearful, anxious. Just cut those cords and let yourself glide back to a feeling of pure, deep relaxation. So deeply within you, so much a part of yourself that you can never really go back to the way you were. You're changing, you're evolving. You're becoming something new. You are awakening to the grand visage of intelligent infinity. The warmth and the majesty of a loving creator. The father, mother, God that has always had your back, always been looking out for you. And there may be times in your life as you go deeper and deeper into a state of pure relaxation, feeling ever more deeply relaxed. You may want to think about some times in your life where a person was not kind to you, where you were treated very poorly. You were treated as if you didn't matter, 
as if you were not worthy of love and respect. You were treated as if your thoughts and your opinions were irrelevant. You were laughed at, insulted, shamed, disrespected, violated, raped, abused, perhaps even tortured with violence or the threat of violence. Ever more deeply relaxed, ever more deeply at peace, as you observe that these things happened to you, but you don't need to affiliate yourself with the emotions that you used to attach to these things. For can you not see, as you breathe so deeply now, and as you're so deeply relaxed, can you not see the significance of this moment, this purity in the now that you are feeling as you breathe, as you relax? Can you not see the gorgeousness the beauty of this moment, the purity of love. It may just be that in this state of deep relaxation and peace, that you find out who and what you really are. Maybe you start to explore the idea that you are this awareness that is now thinking with such clarity and such peace. You are that intelligence. You are that creator, that universal force. And a perfect holographic version of that creator is you. When you are in this awareness, when you are in this meditative peace, that is the truth of your soul. It is the truth of your being. We have the scientific proof, you know. It's already been proven. But we still have to allow it to be real by relaxing and easing away all those stresses and pains and tensions and fears. I invite you to contemplate how much this is your true self, how you are this loving thought that made the universe. And at that level, you cannot be threatened. Love cannot be challenged. Love cannot be destroyed. Love cannot be overthrown. It is forever and it is everywhere. Without time, without space, without form. An everlasting awareness, an everlasting thought. So as you now look back on any and every person who may have been unkind to you, who treated you as being less than perfect, less than fully worthy of every kindness and love in the universe, I just ask that you realize that that never threatened you because you are immortal. You will walk in these shoes, you will walk in other shoes. You will continue for all eternity as a conscious being. Your awareness cannot end, you cannot really die, you only change into something new and exciting. And therefore, when someone doesn't see you that way, you can just forgive them. And I ask you to breathe in forgiveness. And as you exhale, I ask that you exhale forgiveness. And reflect on how in the Law of One series it says that in forgiveness lies the stoppage of the wheel of karma. 
in forgiveness is the answer that prevents you from having to suffer ever again. And if we as a world could learn to forgive one another, even those we dislike the most, then we just might not need any other turbulence. This global bottom that we've hit right now may be enough. We may not need more earth changes if enough of us simply learn to love. The earth can transition peacefully without earthquakes, volcanoes, etc. And you can help by looking into the face of the person who hurt you the most. If you choose to do this, I invite you. Look at the face of the person who hurt you the most. Maybe there's more than one. I invite you, if you so choose, to call them up now. Look at them. Look at who has hurt you the most. And understand that they were working from confusion. They didn't see the big picture. They didn't understand the real nature of who they are as a being of infinite love. That whatever they got so upset about is really not that important because we're all going back to this infinite loving consciousness sooner or later. And as we experience it, we become enraptured. We know that this is the truth of who we are. And we are grateful for this loving consciousness to roam freely in our minds and hearts, seeking all these disaffected parts of ourselves, all the fragments, all the traumas, bring them together in an aura of self-love. Think about the things that people said to you when they were unkind. Think about whether those unkind thoughts may have affected how you see yourself. Have you been unfair with yourself? Have you judged yourself? Have you ever felt that you were not tall enough, not smart enough, not beautiful enough, not thin enough, not young enough. Did you feel that you were unimportant? Did you feel that you were not worthy of love? Did you feel that you were too broken to be a good person? Did you feel that all the nasty things people said about you were true? Did you believe your parents when they tried to fill your mind with poison? your brothers or sisters, your teachers, your friends, your bosses, your co-workers? Did you believe them when they tried to fill your mind with poison about yourself? To tell you that you're not good enough, that you're not strong enough, that you're not smart enough, that you're not young enough, or bright enough, or beautiful enough? I invite you right now to just lovingly say no. To lovingly respect yourself for who you really are. A being of infinite worth, infinite potential. A being who produces love for yourself and for others. I want you to imagine that you're looking at yourself in the mirror as you keep breathing very deeply, staying very deeply involved in your peace and your breathing, and being ever more relaxed in this universal awareness of such deep, profound love, I want you to see yourself in the mirror, and I want you to just let that person be loved. Tell yourself, I love you, if you want to. Let the healing occur, because loving yourself is truly the main objective of all spiritual teachings, whether they realize it or not. It is simply to learn to love yourself, to let go of the criticism, the judgment, the hatred, the anxiety, the fear, the lack of trust, and just allow this melting influence of love to melt away all those pains whether you created them for yourself by your own fears and suspicions 
or whether you drank the chalice of poison that others handed you. Now is your chance to claim back your right to exist, to be loved, to be perfect and pure and whole. And you can set those others free. You can cut the cords of feeling anger towards them, feeling judged by them. Just cut those cords and let them free. You no longer need to be involved in being so emotionally invested in what they may have said when they were shaking with rage or screaming or crying or yelling or just giving you horrible silent treatments or very measured tones of disrespect, whatever it was, I ask that you just set that free, just cut that cord and let it go and respect them for a being who may be confused but is awakening at their own speed. And if you're awakening faster, that's quite all right. You deserve love. You deserve peace. You deserve happiness because that is what your true essence is. And once you see that, all things are possible to you. All roads are available and all roads lead back to oneness. You can take this life and you can transform it into something of beauty, something of grace, something of majesty, something of everlasting significance. You have the power right now to completely transform yourself and the reality that you see because you have the full creative potential of the universe right now within yourself. I ask once again that you surround with light and love all those in the military from different countries who appear to be fighting for your freedom, for our freedom, right now. Surround them with light and love as they prepare to do the most important missions of their lives. Let's ask that these missions go as successfully as possible with a minimum loss of life. That the plan works smoothly and effectively. And also please send your love and your light to all those who are working in the critical infrastructure, whether it's shipping or groceries or keeping the banks running or keeping the supply lines running making sure that the masks and the ventilators are created, making sure that everyone gets the care they need, the supplies they need, the help they need. Send them your love. Send them your support. We ask that you surround with love and light all those who may have this coronavirus, who may have difficulty breathing, who may be experiencing terrifying flu symptoms. Let's ask that they are surrounded with light and love, that they pull through this with flying colors, that their immune system recovers, that they go back to balance, their temperature comes down, their lungs start to be able to breathe more easily, that they pull through this and it does not lead to a loss of life. Surround your friends and your family, those you love the most, with healing light. Don't be afraid to reach out to them as they may be wandering in darkness, afraid for what this thing is, terrified about what the world has suddenly become. You can give them voices of support and guidance and strength in these difficult times. And last but not least, I ask that you surround yourself with love. Embrace yourself. Embrace the perfection that you are. Let yourself feel it and live it. And know that you are a being of infinite worth and infinite value. All right. Well, as we're deep in trance, staying here, I'll walk over to my wife, stay deeply meditative. And just add the... You can say it right in the microphone. Mm, you can just imagine the light of the divine pouring 
over the planet and blessing each being on the planet, all the people and the animals, the children and the elements of the earth, bathing the earth in beautiful, divine, angelic light. And just seeing this world as beautiful and perfect and that divine natural essence that we have seen before and that many of us know, seeing the world as perfect and taking this combined consciousness that we all have, 26,000 people, and using our co-creative abilities as we have been blessed with. Just taking a moment to see yourself as perfect, the world is perfect. Imagine every being being blessed with protection and peace and health and abundance, all good things to all beings. Yeah, we can also ask that Danny and Brinkley, that his blood pressure go up, that the tissues in his heart start to heal, that he have more years with us on the planet. We'd like to see our dear friend, Danny and Brinkley as perfect. Just envisioning him as perfectly healthy, happy, full of radiant life and light. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Abundant, happy, and perfect. Sending the healing light of the divine. Seeing him as perfect. And also we ask that all those in the Alliance from the highest levels of the command all the way down through the foot soldiers. Again, everyone. We ask that they be guided and supported to make the best decisions possible, to get this plan accomplished, to get to that point where we are free. This is the time for the light to infuse this planet, for the light to be anchored in on this planet. We we bless and all the people that are have devoted themselves to this and are devoted to this, that are risking much, and we ask that they be protected by the light of the divine, protected by the angels and the earth and all the beings. As we make a stand, a sacred stand, for the reclamation of all that is sacred on this earth. united in one mind, the mind of wishing goodness for this planet and for all beings. And so it is. <laughs>